I think both of you did what you set out to do with this. What you wanted to do, you did perfectly. What you wanted to do with this, you did it. I'm getting nervous. I'm sweating. Baby, it's, over here. <laughs> it's just an honor to see you eating my pizza. No. <laughs> I'm trying not to freak out. Hey, it's Nicole Russell from Last Dragon Pizza, and welcome to Pizza Wars on First We Feast. Today is the Battle of New York. I'm talking about Ron Pie versus Sicilian, Queens versus Brooklyn, me versus Frank Pinello. What's up, I'm Frank Pinello. I'm the owner and operator of Best Pizza in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Typically, when people talk about New York pizza, everybody's talking about the fold, the round slice, the Neapolitan slice, if you will. To me, the Sicilian slice, the square, is just as iconic. The reheat is delicious, and the process is a little bit more unique than making your regular round pizza. Well, where I grew up, the round pie was really the main pizza that you got. You hardly ever got a Sicilian. To me, that round slice just hits a little different. It's crispy, thin, oozy, and delicious. So I'm a round slice girl all the way. Today, Michael Imperioli is the judge. He's an icon for so many reasons, but he grew up in a similar way that I did, you know? I feel like if I could pull on some of those nostalgic chords, I might be able to win this heart. Frank, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so happy to have you, and the goat goes first, so what are you doing? Oh, wow. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Aww. I'm super excited to be here, making some pizza. Today, I'm doing the classic Sicilian pizza. It kind of fits my heritage of Sicilian. Both of my parents are from Sicily. Um, we grew up eating a lot of that Svincioni pizza. It's like a little bit thicker. But today, I'm doing that classic Brooklyn-style pizzeria shop square. We're gonna jump right into it. Basically, pat out my dough, get it into an oiled pan, wrap it up, let it proof, and take it from there. Tell us and make the distinction between Sicilian pizza, grandma pizza, all the pan pieces can be like confusing. It's crazy because things are getting super regional now. So you have Detroit doing Detroit style pizzas True. that are square and you know, the grandma pizza, which is a little thinner. But the Sicilian was a lot thicker. If it was made right, it had a lot of air inside of it. And then when it got the reheat, it would kind of get nice and crispy around the edges. So you would get the corner pieces, right? And then usually one middle piece. And that was kind of a thing. I you, was always a corner. You're a corner. I'm you a see, corner you're girl. a corner girl. I'm, well, the same I'm not thing. a corner girl, but you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I feel you. I feel you. We're talking pizza. We're talking pizza. <laughs> All right, so we're getting into the sauce now, right? And we mm -hmm. want to pack a punch. I got a special little secret. I got this from my grandmother, <laughs> where you use a razor blade, right? Only Brooklyn people got razor blades. No, that is it. You got that? I got it. I, I have it in my back pocket. You know, keep it in the wallet, tucked away in case I need it. But the real secret to this whole recipe is you got to slice the garlic thin, so thin. You put it in with the anchovies that it liquefies in the pan. Okay, let's go. You smell the aroma. I can't wait. Oh, Nona, thank you for that. Thank you, Nona. This is just gonna cook for a couple minutes. You wanna keep your eye on it, start yeah. to simmer. Yeah. We're also just gonna take right out of the can Ooh. a little bit of tomatoes. The other thing I like to throw in there is a little bit of thyme. While this is going nice and slow on a simmer, I'm just gonna take my tomatoes and throw them right in here. We're gonna throw in some basil. Yes. You know, rustico wow, style. Wow, look at all that. That's Bam. gonna be super flavorful. We have some of that beautiful oregano. All right, so we have our tomato sauce cooking now. We're gonna incorporate the base and then we're gonna dump this right into mm. olive oil and all. And now we're gonna get to the finesse part of the actual Sicilian. So you're dripping in finesse, so let's go. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. <laughs> it's like a little drizzle of sauce, just a drizzle. And now this is where the finesse part comes. For this, you really just want to use your hands so you can wow. feel. Yes. You can feel it, you know. And I think we did a really good job. You we're did. gonna pop it in the oven and we're gonna get our first shell. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the Sicilian shell just came out of the oven. It rose up nicely. So at this point, we can get ready to 
put our cheese on, put our sauce on, and pop it right back in. Can't wait. Let's go. First things first, we got the mozzarella. Mozzarella. That's it. Right now, I have the cheese on the bottom, and I'm putting the sauce on top. I'm kind of doing it in stripes. As it cooks, it's going to spread. But oh. this is very reminiscent of almost like an L&B pizzeria. Beautiful. Throwing it in the oven, 550 degrees, then we'll be ready to eat. Can't wait. We're going to go right in. Right on top oh, of these yes. stones. That yeah. looks beautiful. Mud on. Oh my goodness. All right. So the pizza looks great, but right. underneath is still a little bit soft. Oh. So what I'm going to do is transfer it to the cutting board. We'll cut it just like we do at the pizzeria, right? right? But then when it's time to serve, we'll pop it on the stone, you know, gotcha. and really get that crispiness that we want. Oh yeah. So right now he's checking the booty. The booty's looking good. Yup, the underneath. That's um, called the booty. I don't booty. know if you guys know that. That's the booty shot. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> you always gotta oh, check the oh, booty. That's mine. The corner yes. slide. You're jealous. You're jealous. I, I see hope your I did it justice. Home. You're jealous. Classic Sicilian, nice puffy dough. It's got the look that we want. Corner slice, middle slice. Manja, manja. Manja, manja. Let's see. Oh, it's not hot, but it, mm, oh, the sauce. Mmm. Oh my God. Come on, give a girl a chance. <laughs> He's going so hard on me, man. What do you think? Flavor, oh, crust, I mean. Well, I think I'm eating it. <laughs> it's so good. It's a good I sign. I like the burnt cheese. Mm -hmm. I like the freshness of the tomato on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so soft, and you putting it back in there on the stone made all the difference, I can tell. Mm -hmm. It's so nice and crispy. If this is your way of disarming me. No, no, I know no, how it's going. <laughs> Pizza was, she's in the camo, <laughs> she's talking sweet, she got that pretty no. smile, right? She's disarming me right no, now. No, it's really good. I know you're about to come home. hard. I'm gonna try my best. You guys ready to see what I do? I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Frank, your Sicilian was delicious. But when I think of New York pizza, I think of the round pie, and that's what I'm gonna make for you today. I have this nice and fluffy dough. See all the air that's beautiful. in there? You it looks beautiful. You think so? Yes. I like to get what's called a nice conachone, yes. the crust that goes around. Yes. So the air is here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push wow. out. Wow. Right into the crust. Boom, you see that? I'm not gonna lie, that dough ball is what I look for in pizza dough. That type of air inside of there, that to me is like the symbol of a good tasting pizza. So now I'm gonna pick it up mm -hmm. and I'm gonna just start stretching it out. You know who taught me to stretch it like this? Mark Iacono taught me this. Mark's a smart guy. He was like, Nicole, use the gravity of the dough yep. and use yep. the table and just stretch it out to where you want it. Right. So now I'm going to add some sauce. Gotcha. I already have my sauce because I don't cook my sauce, but I like my sauce to marinate over days, just so the flavors can just get more infused, mm -hmm. you know? I can be a little heavy-handed with sauce because, like I said, I like a juicy pizza. Yes, yes. But don't do like me. Do like you. I love it. And then I use grande cheese. You know, grande is the number one cheese in the pizza industry. Why? That whole milk, you know? Yeah, you need that whole milk, but you also don't need as much. Right, right. It spreads. it spreads really nicely. Cause it's hella expensive. Yup. But it spreads really nice. Definitely. But it's hella expensive. But it spreads really <laughs> nice. I have to say that again, but you know, being a home cook and you're paying for all these high quality ingredients at home, it's yep. no joke. No joke. But it's worth it. Yup. So we're gonna do 500 convection on this oven here. Beautiful. Five minutes. Then what I'm gonna do is after five minutes, I'm gonna change the setting to broil and I'm gonna finish off the pie. Damn. You know what I mean? I have to and say. And that's how you get the crust. What you've done out of your home kitchen, it's mind blowing to me because you got to figure it out. All right, I think it's ready. I'm gonna pull this baby out. Oh my God, so here we go. Wow. That's a piece of wood, yeah, Look that's a crust. <laughs> Almost like a great loaf of bread, right? My own. Okay, Frank, I'm ready for you to try it. Let's go. Please Let's let me it. know. Hot right out the oven. Oh my God. I'm gonna try a slice with you. This crust. Salute. Salute. Cheers. Thank Look you. at that. Mm. Yeah, that's what I want. You see when you eat that? Mm. But you also gotta get the stance. 
Don't mess up your shirt. Don't mess up your sneakers. Mm -mm. Stay crispy. Like this crush. Nicole, I can barely talk because I'm trying to enjoy this pizza, but it is delicious. I'm bewildered how you pulled it off. You nailed it. Thank you so much. I'm glad you liked it. That means the world to me. We had two amazing pieces today, but this isn't over. We need a judge, and Michael Imperioli is here. Can you believe that? Uh-oh. Sopranos. Yeah. Goodfellas. Oh, God. Peace Awards. Oh, God. Yeah. We're here with Michael Imperioli, the legendary actor, and he has a podcast called Talking Sopranos. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure, thank you for having me. What would you say makes a great New York slice of pizza? The misconception is that if you get a lot, it's good. What's important is, you know, everything in proportion, the subtlety, things done fresh. There's not a lot of places to hide with pizza, so right. every component has to really be on point to be good. Obviously, The Sopranos, Goodfellas, I feel like food was a huge component to those shows, you know, Italian-American. Is there any specific scenes of eating pizza or rolling up to a pizzeria that stand out to you? There's a famous scene where my character says, don't disrespect the pizza parlor. Watch where the fuck you go. Kiss my ass. Hey. Take that shit outside. Don't disrespect the pizza parlor. <laughs> you know, you you have to honor your neighborhood sacred, pizza. It's, sacred Because you, place. you know, very often you grow up on it. Then you take your kids mm -hmm. to that place. So it's it's serious business. It's I mean, serious it's a business. Cultural, exactly. big cultural thing. Big time. I mean. We were asked to prepare two New York style pizzas. I chose the square or the Sicilian cheese on the bottom and the sauce on top, kind of like that LMB style. Really the secret was I sliced the garlic really thin with like a razor blade and then I put it inside the pan so it liquefied in the pan. All right, can we try it? Yeah. Are we at that point now? Please, I hope you one. enjoy. That's really nice. Mm. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. I'm sweating big <laughs> over here. It looks really good. <laughs> it's delicious. It's really, really good. So you got the crispiness on the bottom, a little bit of chewiness, but the middle of the dough is still supple, kind of burnt in a little parts, which I love. That other texture, that other, you know, really homemade flavor. Yeah. This is delicious. I'm glad you like it, thank you. I'm gonna eat half of it and save it so I don't overwhelm my palate, but I'm gonna get back to that one. All right, Michael, we have a classic plain pie that we call at Last Dragon Pizza, The Glow. I grew up in Queens, and what I used to like, and I think I'm chasing nostalgia in that way, I used to like a lot of garlic. You know, of course, the fundamentals are from New York pizza, but I just put my own little twist on what I like. I just hope that you like it as well. So this has a feel like a classic New York slice. It has, okay. you know, it has weight, but it's not heavy. It's like, it's, okay. you know, because you're eating stuff on the street, so you need some sturdiness, so it's not going to be all over the place. It looks really good, so okay. let's try it. Wow. Really? <laughs> it's really, really good. Thank you. The crust has a crispiness, and it's also soft. If I went into a pizzeria in New York and got this, I'd be really, really happy. It's just an honor to see you eat my pizza. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to freak out. <laughs> <It's great. laughs> It's really good. All right, Michael, now's the moment of truth. You tasted my pie, you tasted Frank's pie. Which one do you pick? Right, What's the winner? Uh, I'm going to be really honest. It's really hard because I think both of you, you know, did what you set out to do with this. What you wanted to do, you did perfectly. You. What you wanted to do with this, you did it. If I have to choose one, and it's really very difficult, probably would go with Frank's because it reminds me of my grandmother's pizza. It's okay. So there's a sentimental edge 
which is a little bit unfair, Frank. I heard that grandma, is, and I and was that, like, no, no, you're so not to me. You're it's the only, it's an you honor. know, but like I said, if I went down the street and bought this, I'd be so happy, and I think you, I think you're nailing this. It's Thank really, so really much. good. Well, Frank, you won it fair and square. And honestly, it's been an honor to have you. You're a legend. You're my inspiration. And I just want to tell you congratulations. Thank you very much. And to be honest, I wanted to tell you that, you know, I got 10 years in the game. You know, you've been cooking out of your house and you started this new wave. But you actually have been inspiring me, you uh -huh. know? It makes me kind of get re-inspired about pizza and want to get back to what I love. For the first episode, this is really special. Michael, thanks again. Thank Frank, I love you. Thanks again. Tune in next week on Pizza Wars.